Hi everyone, it's Lumberto, and I'm bringing you Would You Rather. Alright, it's pretty self-explanatory. You pick, you have two scenarios, and you pick which one you have to live with for the rest of your life. And there's no getting out of it. Alright, so our first question is, be close with one, only one person, and only see them on Sundays. Or I know many people and see them every day, but not be particularly close with them. Well, I'm pretty introverted, so this is an easy one for me. I picked the one person that I really know. Assuming that at least, like, if I only spend one day a week with them, it's like the whole day, and we just do whatever we want. Like, because if you pick the many people, I just, I don't have time for that. There's so many people. There'd be so many people you have to spend time with, and then I'd, I have no time for this, for example, or some of the other hobbies I have. And yeah, but it's a hard one because one day a week is not very much. But at least I feel like I'd honestly know someone. Like, whereas the other ones, it's kind of like, mm, I don't know, it's a hard one, but I'm gonna pick the one person. And most people would agree with me on that. I'm really surprised. Well, I guess if you think about it, it's just more human to, like, really deeply connect with someone rather than a bunch of people you kind of know. Yeah. Kind of like how on Facebook, how there's just people where they have, like, 2,000 friends and they only know, like, 50 of them. You know, like, do you really have 2,000 friends? Nah, of course not. Would you rather stop using YouTube or stop using Facebook? <laughs> so easy for me. Bye, Facebook. And actually, most people agree. I actually think part of that might be that a lot of people who use Facebook are trying to get off of it anyways. So, yeah, I think that's a big part of it. Would you rather sound like Kermit the Frog or sound like Miss Piggy? Kermit the Frog, he sounds awesome. Well, yes, yeah, see, who would want to be Miss Piggy? Who would want to be Miss Piggy? Her voice sounds bland and unentertaining. Kermit the Frog has character in his voice. Uh, you're probably waiting for me to do an impersonation of him, but I can't do it. It's too hard. Would you rather have an unattractive child or have a beautiful child with bright blue skin? Well, have an unattractive child, and here's why. I mean, if you have someone who's attractive but has blue skin, the person, that person is going to get bullied throughout school and the rest of their life, and they are going to be harassed by scientists and stuff who want to study them, and it's just not a good life. So, at least unattractive, like... Yeah, that's gonna be a disadvantage too, but the blue skin, you're gonna have people after you wondering what is going on. And I'm not giving any child I know a life like that. It's gonna be terrible. And a lot of people would pick the blue skin. Well, I guess they're thinking like, oh, it's just gonna be something cool, you know, people are gonna get used to it. And they will. The people who actually care about that person will get used to it, but I feel like that's a huge disadvantage in a lot of areas in life. But I could see the argument for it, because it could lead to opportunities as well. Because someone with a blue skin would be awesome. Would you rather need glasses to see far away, or need glasses to see close up? Well, I actually, I do need glasses to see far away, and I don't know what the other one's like, but I'm kind of very used to the far vision not being nearsighted, so... Of course I'm going to pick the one I already have. And most people would agree. Interesting, because I think reading is important, and the other one that take away your ability to read, so I think that's where the logic comes from. Could be wrong, I don't know. Would you rather have the voice of the opposite sex? So for me, that would be a girl or a woman, whatever, or have the muscle mass body build of the opposite sex. Well, I play sports, so I kind of need uh, to be able to play with my gender, so I just pick the girl voice. Because I can already go kind of high pitch. So, <laughs> I just sound like that all the time. I just sound like that all the time. And then, yeah, it'll be pretty easy after a while. Because people will know what I sound like. Would you rather have a jello room or have a pillow room? Hmm. Well, obviously I'd rather have a jello room because that'd be cooler. But, eh, and I can go boldly after a while. So I would have to go pillow. Alright, I'll stop with the voice, but I don't that I'm not saying that that's a girl voice, but I'm just showing you I can already go pretty high pitched. At least decently high pitched. So having a girl's voice wouldn't be the end of the world. And why am I still talking about that one? I should be talking about this one. Yeah, uh Jello goes mold. Yeah, yeah. That ends this debate. 
Always speak all your thoughts out loud or never speak at all. This is the easy one. There's people like that. There's people who can't shut up. They just always run their mouth and they, they just never stop talking. They don't think before they speak. I just be one of them. If you don't speak at all, you are gonna be miserable. Because as a human, you need to talk to people. All of you out there, talk to people. It's good for ya. Would you rather pay your pants once a day at random time? Or poop your pants at one random time during the day? It says E, Z, pick the P. At least it's somewhat manageable. Man, you got the other stuff coming out of you? That stuff's like sewage. It gets everywhere, it'll leak everywhere. It smells atrocious. It smells like rotten eggs kicked into a skunk who died and has been dead for six months and that skunk got eaten out by maggots and then the mat and then flies laid more larvae in it and then that got eaten out by bacteria and then that bacteria converted in the slime that just was in the ground and smells like rotten eggs and cattle carcasses so yes i'd rather pick pee my pants i think that might be the most lopsided one i've ever seen why would you pick the other one it doesn't even make any sense why you would. Would you rather always be sweating or always appear, appear shivering cold? Now, unless they say appear shivering cold, doesn't mean you're actually cold. Uh, I do the sweating. Uh, this is kind of like tying back to probably another one. I had this episode where it's just like there's people out there who sweat all the time. There are. And they're just sweat monsters. But I never really met anyone who's shivering all the time. I just feel like the stop getting people's attention so much, I'll just pick the sweating one. But uh, they both will get people's attention, no question. The sweating one's kind of grosser, but I think you live more normal life with it. Oh my god, guys! Are you joking? If you're always shivering, you're just going like this all the time, just shaking. It just doesn't look right. Like, it just looks like you're sick or something. I just feel like people would look at you more and be like, well, what's going on with them? Not that I care that much what other people think, but like, people are gonna voice their opinions at you, so be ready for it. And the sweating thing, well, they didn't say how much, because I guess it depends, but uh, I guess it's kind of the gross factor in that you keep needing to change shirts. The shivering cold thing, it just will burn more energy from you and it just makes you look a little bit more ill. I think people would come after you a little bit more with insults. Not that I don't know why you would insult someone who's driven all the time. That's pretty bad, but I, I could see it happening. Would you rather have a giant birthmark covering 78% of your face or have a foot, two foot tall tail? Wait, no, have a two foot tail. Two foot tail! My goal is complete. I always kind of wanted to have a tail. Like, I just thought it'd be kind of cool. Like, I don't know, like, what kind. Like, I don't know if it'd be a kitty tail or, like, I don't know, like, a monkey tail or something i don't know i just think it would be cool like it i think it would help with balance or something and it just it'd be like an extra arm i'd be like right now i'd be like it could grab like something and pick it up and i think it would be pretty cool what do you guys think do my tail i don't i don't know i i think yeah yeah people get tail that'd be so cool if you like dbz goku from dbz when he has tail yeah would you rather only write in cursive or I type in caps? Mm -hmm. Stylishness versus I serve this cursive. Why? Because it looks stylish. No other reason. Would you rather have your name known forever for doing something terrible or never be recognized for accomplishing something wonderful? Well, I ain't doing anything terrible to be recognized, so this is easy. What 21% of you? Who are you guys? Come on. Do something horrible for fame? No. You don't do that. You guys are just trolling. You guys be rolling, trolling your 21%. I don't, I don't buy it. Alright, last one, guys. Would you rather death by electric chair or death by lethal ejection? Well, duh, the lethal ejection. The electric chair is brutal. Like, that thing can, like... Like, well, not only does it hurt, but it also is like a weird feeling. Like, it's just, it just would completely overwhelm your nervous system and overflow you with electrical current that will flow through your veins, but not feel very good. A uh, lethal ejection, I think you just slowly kind of phase out of reality and then die. Uh, 
I think that's all there is to it. I don't think there's that much pain involved. So I would do the lethal ejection. Electric school would be cool though. Cool in a very horrific and terrible way, but pretty cool. And most agree because lethal ejection is less pain. People don't want to go through pain before they die. Another great round of Would You Rather. I'll definitely be playing this game again. I'm looking out for new scenarios always. So I'll keep them out. And maybe next time I'll dig a lot deeper and try to find the like the funniest of the funny scenarios. So keep your eyes peeled out for that. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video, smash the like button with full force. And come join the adventure. And I will see you in the next video. You literally will be the last one now. Oh god. No, what? You go away. No way. No 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 button spam. No, you're not gonna get it. What do you